Hi everyone, this is my everyday makeup look and if you want to learn how to do it as well, keep on watching. Thanks! <coughs> Hi guys, so this is my first YouTube video, so um, bear in mind that I'm not the best at video whatever processing. Um, so today I'm going to do my everyday makeup tutorial and I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm actually like in my kitchen right now. I'm actually at school, but this is my kitchen. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys don't mind this kind of background, but it has the best lighting. So, okay, first I'm just going to remove my, con I mean, remove my glasses. And my skin right now is actually so bad, but I can work with it. I'm going to put on my contacts. get started. Um, I'm gonna be using a cushion. I have a lot of cushions here. Um, this is the Misha Original Tension Pack Perfect Cover and this is actually a special edition. It's like the Frida Kahlo edition. And I'm just going to put this all over my face, clearly. I think this is a really nice cushion that covers a lot because I have very acne prone skin and I have a lot of acne scars as well, but I think this one does a good job at covering a lot of it. It is a little on the pink tone, so it doesn't match my skin perfectly, but it's good enough. So, now my skin is somewhat covered. Um, I'm just going to conceal a lot of my acne spots and discolorations now. So I use two different concealers. I use a pop type concealer and a liquid kind of concealer. This is Cleo's concealer. It's in number three by Linen. And then I have my Makeup Forever concealer. And number five, I think. Yeah, number five. So I use two different types of concealers. For my acne troubles, I use the pot type, and for my under eye circles, I use the Makeup Forever. I'm just going to go in and put the concealer on thickly over my acne spots. I'm going to go back in later with a sponge to kind of smooth everything out. Now I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and just buff everything out with the fat end. I'm going to set my makeup using this oil paper pack. It's pretty old. Um, this is by Tony Moly. It comes with, with a puff, but I don't really use the puff. I use really soft brush. This is an e.l.f. brush. And 
I just kind of pat everything down. I literally pat my whole face down because my skin gets so oily and so throughout the day it still shines even though I put on all this powder. Okay, now I'm moving on to eyebrows. Um, I have eyebrows that are on the more thicker side, so I don't really do a lot of my eyebrows. I really like to do more of a natural finish, so this is the Smudge Proof Wood Eyebrow by Misha, I think it should be Misha. This is in, it's in Karsik. Karsik. I don't know, brown. I'm just gonna shape them. Roughly shape them and then just really not put a lot of effort into kind of filling them in. So I'm done with my eyebrows, this looks like this, I don't really care if it's kind of uneven but it's whatever. Um, I usually do blush and contour last just because, eh, why not? Now I don't really do a lot to my eyes but I guess I'll show it anyway. So I use this, this is Max Soba, pretty much all over my eye. It's like a cult favorite, I would say, by the Korean community. And I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. This is by Real Techniques. And just mainly focus it on the outer ends of my eye and then bring it down. Okay, now that's done. I like to put another color and this is a Lancome palette that came in one of the gift sets. So I don't think this is a real palette. It does have a color name. So the color is Platform. It's basically this color right here. It's a dusty pink rose kind of color. It's really pretty. And I'm gonna use my finger for this. And just pop it in the center. And blend it out. So now, it looks like this. Now, I don't really put eyeliner, but I mean, if I have the time, then I, I'll put it on for like a special occasion, but whatever. This is Cleo's Sharp So Simple Waterproof Pencil Liner um, in, I think it was number two, yeah, number two brown. It looks like this. What I like about this is that it's um, really, really thin, so I'm only going to put it on the outer of my eye. Just for like a wing. A little tiny wing. Yeah, I don't really do a lot with eyeliner, so this is basically it. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes. I have very sparse lashes, so 
there's not really much to accentuate about my lashes. It's pretty sad. And final. And then I'm gonna take the cult favorite Kiss Me mascara, long and curl. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to contour. I don't officially have like a contour palette, so I'm just gonna use um, my Max Soga, because, I don't know, I think it's a really good contour color. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, like this, and just work on my jaw. What's so annoying about my jaw is that one side is bigger than the other, this one. So I especially have to shade that side of my jaw, which is really annoying. I'm also gonna contour a little bit of my nose. If I'm feeling fancy, then I'll put like eye glitter, I guess, in my inner tear duct. Um, this is Stila's Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Kitten Karma. This is also pretty popular. Um, I don't use the applicator because it usually puts on too much, so I use a Q-tip. Just gonna dab it a little. And now moving on to blush, blush, yeah. So I actually bought a new blush today. This is from TJ Maxx, and it's the Bare Minerals Gen Nude line. This isn't that peach though. I thought this this color was just so pretty. It's a little hard to open though. And it just looks like this. It's really pretty. It's a peachy color. And I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush. This is the blush brush. Thing is, there's a lot of fallout with this. So, it's actually a lot of fallout, but... Okay. Um, yeah, this is my first time using this, but usually I use a different blush I use this one which is kind of similar to this one but um, this one doesn't have as much fallout and this one has a lot of fallout so I'm not really sure how to feel the color is really pretty though I don't know and then lastly for my lips um, I'm gonna use the Karl Lagerfeld plus model and co lip gloss in Rama 2L. I got this from Nordstrom Rack. What I don't like about this is that when you actually unscrew it, there's like a light and it's so annoying. But the color is really pretty, so. So annoying. And that is my finished makeup look. Um, doesn't really take a lot of time, at least I don't think it does. 
but this is mostly what I do on an everyday basis and since it's my first YouTube video, I hope you enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe. Thank you.